The race for the top seat at the National Water and Sewage Corporation took a new twist as the Inspectorate of Government moved ahead to halt the process following complaints of immense pressure on the Board of Governors by influential individuals in Cabinet to offer the post to a ruling National Resistance Movement Party, CADA. In a letter addressed to the Chairman Board of Directors of the Corporation, the IGG wants the process suspended for 30 days to allow inquiries into the controversy. Water and Environment Minister Professor Ephraim Kamuntu also finds himself in the line of fire for allegedly misrepresenting facts to the President to tilt the odds in favor of his chosen candidate in a fierce race that has pitted engineers Alex Gisagara against Silva Mugisha, with Kamuntu allegedly backing the latter. I was reliable informed that the President was misinformed, misinformed by the Honorable Minister of water, Professor Kamuntu. The largest group of Museveni's ministers are dealers. Are dealers. They, 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 they are dealers. Hmm? He must be following up a certain deal. We expect before the president takes action on him, Kamuntu should be able to write to the president and resign, apologize and resign, because he has made the president and the international community think that the president, what is the president doing? The president doesn't know. In a letter to the president, the water minister is reported to have duped the president into believing that engineer Mugisha is a new face at the institution. He is also accused of mounting pressure on the board of governors to either approve his preferred candidate or resign their positions, contrary to legal provisions. The IGG's action is said to have been intended to end the confusion. Professor Kamuntu declined to comment on the matter that has put him on the spotlight, rather for the wrong reasons, attracting strong rebuke from his colleagues in Parliament. Maybe he needs to come out and tell us whether it's a national government policy that the particular corporations must be run by persons from particular regions of the country so that other governors don't, are not bothered with interviews. Others now want the president to reign on the minister, whose actions they say are a national shame, casting the fountain of honor in bad light. The complaints to the Inspectorate of Government were raised by not just concerned citizens, but also from development partners from Netherlands and Germany. Sabit Joseph, WSL Vision, Parliament.